Hello, so I'm here with Andy today, who is Supervisor Brewer at Hook Norton Brewery, and we're here to talk about the first brew in the 175 collaboration Correct. between yourselves, Joseph Holtz and Everards, and so that's where the three breweries have come together. They're all celebrating their 175th birthday this year, and they're basically all brewing a brew together, yep. and then they'll sell that sort of throughout their um, supply chains all together as well. So uh, tell us, Andy, a bit about what we're brewing today. Yeah, so we're brewing a light amber ale mm -hmm. um, using Maris Otter and Caramel in the base. And then we are basically going to be using our old style hops, what are Fuggles and Goldings. And then um, we wanted to do a bit of a nod to the future with um, using Olicana. Okay. It's a bit of difference. Um, we spoke to farms and all that and with the types of mops we were using they recommended with the caramel mop that the olicana would be a great fit um, so we decided that um, we wanted to use Fogels and goldings as well because it is our heritage hops you know we use them in a lot of our beers here and we wanted to keep that um, heritage there so a bit of a past but also that bit of the future coming through yeah no definitely lovely so is it yourself that developed the recipe on your own or did you do it with it's a bit of everybody um, so myself and James, who's the managing director here, but also all the boys got involved with it as well. We like to make sure, you know, everybody's involved here um, in the brewing process. We also, like I said to you earlier, we, we used uh, Farham's advice with Paul Corbett and Will, um, who were great with advice on what we needed and what they recommended to use. So we used that. And then we took advice from um, Holtz and Everard as well. Yeah. Um, you know, it's a collab at the end of the day and we want to work together. So that's why we um, did this. Yeah, no, lovely. So you're also going to be using your own house yeast, start you, Correct. in the brew. So why did you, so what sort of flavours do you reckon will come out from the hops? Obviously you're using Fuggles and Golding as your bittering hop yep. and then Olicana as your aroma hop. So what sort of flavours and smells would you expect to come through? Yeah, so smells wise, we're hoping we're, you know, because we're trying to really push this Olicana through it. So we're putting dry hop into the um, FEs, mm -hmm. in our open FEs. And then basically we're looking for those, you know, those passion fruit, you know, soft fruit sort of notes. That's what we're looking for, grapefruit sort of notes. Nothing too in your face, but just a nice slight aroma on the nose just to, um, for the drinker to have. Just that more sort of working towards that sort of more modern beer style, isn't it? Yeah, modern, but with also the old school sort of side of it, you know. Um, and yeah, like I say, that's what we were trying to push with the, the new hop. So mm -hmm. we've got that bit of both on either side. Yeah, no, definitely. So obviously we started the day um, up in the mash tons. Yep. And could you tell us a little bit about sort of the whole process and like your whole brew day from that sort of start to finish? Yeah, so generally we would mash in at past six in the morning mm -hmm. here. Um, and that basically we'd start the brew day there, we'd mash in, we'd do an hour and 15 rests on the mashes, and then we would run down into the copper. What would be roughly, depending on the size of brew, but normally around an hour and a half for mm -hmm. us. We'd then boil, add our boiling hops like we've done today with the uh, Fuggles and in the later edition with the Goldings after. Yeah. And then from there, we would drop into our hot back um, and then we added our aromas, what was some Goldings and Olicana. And then from there, we're going to send up to the FE and then we will hopefully ferment for three days. Mm -hmm. And then from there, um, we will then add the dry hop after we've skimmed. We then give it, um, we're going to give it about eight days in fermenter to really let those hop aromas come through in the beer. Yeah. And then we're going to drop it in and rack it just after that. So when will it be available in a couple of weeks? Or? Yeah, a couple of weeks. So end of March will be, we're trying to get it out for, you know, um, Easter. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. So yeah. we're going to really try and get it ready for, yeah, a couple of weeks time, you know, end of March. So it's called Tower Ale. Correct. Correct. So, and you'll be able to buy that from any of your like sort of supply chains at the Norton. Yep. Everard's will have a load. Yep. And so will Joseph Holt. So it will sort of share across the country. So that's quite nice. Correct. So yeah. And what sort of, what sort of colour do you reckon the beer is going to be? So we're going for a light amber. Yeah. Um, so it's, it, you know, it's still looking quite pearlish, but there will be that tint of amber there from the caramel, just to give that bit of colour. Mm. 
and obviously we've already sort of talked about the flavour and yep. we've gone through the sort of process so I think that's that's about it really so we'll see yeah um 3.8% yeah so a nice sessionable beer Easy for everybody to drink. drink yeah that's what we're yeah. looking to do what's the is there any inspiration behind any of the art or is it all just on the tower aspect of the name or? on the tower aspect you know we wanted to incorporate yeah a beautiful building just outside the, the window room, yeah. you know so yeah we decided to keep that with that name Lovely. Well, I think that'll do. So, thank you very much. Pleasure. Thank you. I think that's all right.